Hello and welcome to Oscar Modeling. Welcome to the Ravel Queen Mary 2 Ocean Liner build. And this is part 16. And in this video, we're looking at the upper decks above the superstructure here. And first of all, I might just say, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you can get updates when these videos are brought out. And also um, comments are welcome and thumbs up if you like it at the end. <laughs> so let's get on with this. Um, so here is the front section, the back section that we're gonna put on, which will go on to here like that. Now, what I had found was I had some problems fitting this because the stairs on the end here weren't lining up with the holes in the deck where they're supposed to go in. But then I realized that they've been bent and it's not a problem. I can just bend them and they'll fit in there. So that problem solved. But what I've got to do now is work out the lighting because we need to put some holes in here to get some lights up here. So this, to give you an idea of what we're looking at here, at the stern of the ship here, this area is going to be covered. And I am thinking of putting some small fiber optic um, lights on the exterior wall around here and possibly on the side here. I'll just have to check against footage of the real ship. But we'll definitely need uh, some holes drilled that run those fiber optics up to where those holes are going to be. Um, then moving forward, we have this section, which is where the Queen Mary um, sign is lit up on the side of the ship at the top here. This needs to be really well lit up because I need deliberately need to have the, um, the LED light bleed through around the Queen Mary 2 sign to get that to glow. So I will need LEDs up here. So we'll need a larger hole to run LEDs up here, um, which I've already planned for in my wiring. Run that up and we'll put them in here. Uh, and that'll go inside that part. Further along here is under the, the main funnel. There will be lights going up into that. I'm not sure how I'm going to plan to do that yet. Um, probably some little LEDs like I'll just grab them. I may be using at least one on each side of it, of the funnel. So we may need to use this along with some fiber optics that might go up there for smaller with some smaller pinpoints of light. So again, there'll be a hole we can put down in through that. Now this area here is the swimming pool, which is under cover, has a glass top over, the, over it. Um, same with the other swimming pools on the ship. We'll put two fiber optics um, points of light in the bottom of the spa, beach spa. And we'll do four points in the pool. I think only four. Again, I'll go check the footage of the ship, but I think just one in each corner will be enough there. This all gets covered with a uh, glass, glass roof and it goes back further. Now, once I've done all of that, um, I will need to be painting the underside of this um, black because we don't want light getting through. I think I showed in the previous video, if I hold this up to the light, it's probably hard to tell from here, but uh, it's not going to, but you know, it's not very thick and light bleeds through. So I'll be painting the underside of all this uh, black. And then a lot of this is wood decking as well. So all up the sides here will be wood decking. All this area in here is wood. Down here around this pool area is all wood decking as well. So there are areas that won't need to be worried about light bleeding through. So 
whether I cover the whole underside of this or black or just the areas that would show, which is basically where all the wood decking is going to go. Um, I might just do that um, because places like in here under the Queen Mary sign is I want to get as much light as possible up into that. Of course, the walls will be blackened out. Um, and that's another thing I'll be doing too is building the structures here as well. So if I go to the instruction, uh, you'll see that we're here on 28 is, well, this is where they basically ask these to get glued down, the top sections, but we're not going to do that because we've got too much work to do. Um, but over the page, we build up, uh, there's that, that section there. So all the sections that later on in the steps get placed down on the deck. So I think uh, actually permanently gluing the deck down will be left to as late as possible. I'll most likely have most of the superstructure and everything built up on top of it before I actually glue it down because once that's glued down, then that will seal in access to any of my wiring down there. So I need to know, make sure that all that's perfectly how I want it to be. Um, then there's the other uh, towards the front of the ship and this one. And again, another swimming pool. Uh, lots of wood decking. Majority of all this is wood decking. And this will be the bridge over the bridge area. So that, that will go onto there, which is the part that I've actually got painting now. I've just got to do the black strip along the windows. I've got to mask that off and paint that black. Um, again, drilling here for more um, fiber optics to come up into the pool area. Uh, and there's a little building there that may have some, you might put some lights on the outside. We'll just check with the um, reference of the video of the ship. And um, yeah, and then that will go onto uh, here, which really does fit perfectly, happy to say. <laughs> um, yeah, that just drops into place like that. And it's no problem. Uh, there is one stairway here that I noticed, um, and that's how it came out of the box. But um, that, you see, you can probably see the difference. One's a lot more bent than the other. See that? Um, and that's just been bent uh, while it's in the box in the kit. But I have looked at it, and I do know that I can actually bend that down to that. I mean, if it does break, well, no problem. I can glue it back on, but preferably it won't. So that was a, that was a little problem I can fix. All right, so, yeah, I'll get on to uh, getting some holes drilled in here now and um, and getting ready to be able to feed up the, the lighting and the fibre optics and uh, some LED wiring for an LED strip to go up in there. Okay, back shortly. Okay, I'm back again, and I'll show you what I've done here. So on this deck, which is the one I'm going to work on mostly, um, I've drilled some holes here. So these three holes will be for running the some fiber optic cables down through because I've worked out that on the wall around here, there'll be on the wall here there'll be lights. So I'll need the fiber optics going in there. Um, also in this little area that sticks out here, there'll be a light on either side as well. So I've got two little holes there I've drilled out. So I'll run the fiber optics down through that. All they have to go is down into the superstructure because that's all lit up LEDs. So it will bring the light up. Um, as we go up to here, this is the part where the Queen Mary 2 sign is written on the side of the ship on the walls here. So I've got another hole in here, which I'll bring up one of the wires through, which will be it's likely this one here. And that will come up through there. And then I've got an LED, a bit of LED strip, just with three LEDs. And then I will 
attach that to there and that will create the light I need inside this piece here to light up the Queen Mary 2 sign. Then we get over to the funnel here and that there's there's a gap there that will bring light in through there as well. So from there I can direct that where I want light to shine up onto the side of the funnel. Okay, as we go down a bit further, we get to the pool. And again, I've got a 1.5 drill bit and I've drilled out two holes in each spar. Um, four holes in the bottom of the swimming pool as well. And then I've drilled out a, lot, a large hole here. Um, not that I want anything coming through that hole. I'm not bringing up a, a power lead or anything like that, but the actual light that's in the hull, I want to shine up just a little bit through there, and that should reflect in across and just create some ambient light in this pool area where this is all covered by a glass roof. This section here is covered completely. You won't see anything under there. So, but there is a gap which I'm hoping that this will bring up just enough light to just cast a little bit of light out into that pool area uh, just to enhance that a little bit. Um, yeah, that's that's about it. I'm not sure if there's uh, there's some little holes I could put around here and bring some of the light out of here if I need some more. Um, we'll have a look at that. So now... I'm going to go wash this piece because I've been handling it and there's fingerprints all over it. Make sure it's clean. I'm going to undercoat the whole thing. Um, not that there's much up here on top that needs paint. There's these little areas here that need a bit of white paint. Uh, obviously, the pool area is going to be mostly white, I think. Well, it's going to be painted anyway, so it needs to be undercoated. All this is wood decking, wood decking, all the way up each side. All this is wood decking and all this will be under cover anyway. But on the back side here, underneath, this will have to be black to stop the light coming through. So I will, uh, I may mask up parts of this where it's not required to be black. Um, otherwise, I'll do the whole thing. And also what I've noticed is this, this is quite thick, this plastic. So when it's sitting in position on here, um, I don't want black on the outside here. So what I need to do is just, and not only that, but it does overhang a little bit. So if I move the wire out of the way, we can look at this. So that's going to go pretty much like that. There is a, a little bit of an overhang. So I, there's no need to black out, which I just realized that that's quite good now. So I, I don't want that underside of there black. Not that you're going to turn the ship upside down and look under there, but still. I may just run some masking tape around that just to stop that from... Um, yeah, you can see a little bit of an overhang there. All right, I'll get on to this and we'll come back and have a look how it's going. Back in a sec. All right, so we're back. It's been a few hours have passed. And um, I've finished the pool area here, as you can see. At least all the painting is done. I've done the wood grain around the deck, uh, the blue on the side of the spars and the side of the pool. And this part here is also a wood, which I think is a bar behind there. I'm not sure, but most of that's covered. Won't be able to see from there back. Um, I've done the stairs, the brown leading up into the pool. All it needs is the railings to go around. But what I'm doing now, and of course, there's the back all painted black. I'll put a picture up that will show you how much that actually blocks out. I took that photo with um, the light behind so you can see that obviously no light's going to get through. The edges are fine because they overhang, uh, overhang the ship, so it's not going to be problem didn't have to go right to the end so what I'm going to do now is 
put the decking on. Um, all my holes are drilled. Um, after the decking goes on, it'll be a matter of threading all the fiber optics up through, especially in the pool area. Then I can put my AK transparent gel in there and get that water effect going. But I don't need to worry about the that for the moment. I want to get the decking on. So the decking is most of this section here. So this part here will be around the pool. Uh, it all seems to be one piece. It's just going to go over the top, which is good. That should make it all fit easy to position. Obviously, I'll cut this out now and test fit it and make sure it's okay. Uh, and this is the bigger piece, which runs up the sides here and covers all this area in here, which will be all this. It also goes up around the back here as well, um, which is fine. That's fine. I'll do all the way around there. And I'll take that off in one piece and test fit all that as well. And then uh, it's all got the adhesive backing, so there's no no need to glue anything. And uh, I'll get that put on. I'm just going to wait a little bit longer to get the paint to dry on, on these. Um, but by the time I take these off, that'll be ready to go. So I'll do that now, and uh, we'll take a look. Also, while I'm here, I will show you there is the bridge which I painted the black that's come up really nice masked it off and painted that black and then the floor of the bridge which I mentioned before was supposed to be green well there it is green you won't be able to see any you won't really see much of any of that at all once it's inside but you know it's green and then of course the roof of the bridge is done in the white. Um, yeah. So um, they're ready to put together. I think I'm going to have some problems fitting these together because I did test fit before and it's really well and truly out of shape. If I place that down there and you look at the curve in here, you can tell that it's sort of to one side, whereas that should be a perfectly normal curve uh, so not only is it um, the curve wrong <laughs> I don't know how else to put it let me just grab this and have a closer look have a look at this so if we can get that up here so you got a straight edge to compare it to all right so see that curve get my tweezer pointing device that curve sort of is here when it should be here all right and not only that but there's a sort of a twist that way as well so it's sort of twisted that way as well so anyway i will yeah um it's going to be a tight fit to get that into its shape I don't know how else um, I could fix that. You know, I don't want to make it worse. And there's no way. I mean, I've painted it now, so I can't sort of put the piece of plastic in the sun to soften it a bit before I try gluing it to this. Because, as you can see, that curve is not going to go well. It's yeah. Anyway. <laughs> it's uh we'll, we'll sort that out okay i'm going to worry about the decking for the moment i'm looking forward to doing that so let me get that on and we'll come back and have a look at that okay back in a sec all right welcome back and, uh, i'm just going to show you what i'm doing i've just dipped ahead a little bit to step 29 which is this part here and so what i've done is I'm going to just show you the pieces. So this part here, these are all being sprayed white. And this part I've masked around because the outside of it needs to be white, whilst the middle of it here is going to be the grey that we used on a couple other spots on the on the um, bow of the ship and on the sides. So that's going to be done grey. 
So I'm about to go in there and just hit that with the airbrush. Now, another thing is on the sides of this, this is like the frame, so that will sit in there. This whole piece actually I think gets covered, so I don't even know why I sprayed it, although that may be exposed there. I think that is, yeah. Um, so that'll sit on there. And then down each side of that are some doors into the side of this little building. Now, this here is what I've had to do is I've masked it up. I don't know if you can see because it's glary, but so those little area strips down the center that I've left unmasked are actually handrails. And there's and they run down the side between the doors, which are in under there, as you can see, under the masking tape. They have to be done brown, like the rest of the railings around the ship. So I'm going to get in there with a very, very tiny um, paintbrush and touch those along there brown. And then while I mention it, the doors, what I'm doing at this point, what I'm planning to do is these doors, um, they all have little portholes in the top of them. I'll put a picture up in the corner there somewhere, show you what one looks like. So to replicate that, I'm going to drill a little 0.5 millimeter hole in the tops of those doors, and then I will use my um, MIG glue that dries clear that I usually use for portholes and create the glass in the doors. And of course, then they'll be painted the brown so that's that's my thinking at the moment um, in the meantime I'm going to get those brown I'm going to do this and then I still have these of course that we spoke about um, I will tackle those but then I'm also thinking of doing the deck because I've test fitted the deck and uh, there you go. it's all going to fit beautifully so I'll be um, putting that down as well. All right, back shortly. I'll we'll get get onto this here. Hey there! I just thought I'd show you. I've got this piece on. Uh, took a bit of clamping down and get it to sit where it's supposed to, but it's on and it looks fine. Um, you're wondering what that spot is there? Well, I was just about to show you what I'm doing. So this is my MIG ammo glue that I, I always suggest you use for portholes and stuff. And I thought, well, instead of running plastic acetate in there, I'll just give it a shot and see how I go with the windows. Because if they're too big, it won't work. But these seem to be just okay. So what I've done is I made it into a pretty thick consistency. You can you add a little bit of water make it as thin as you want and um, put it up on the end of a, a toothpick here and all I gotta do is just touch it in there like that and there we go so that's the second window frame filled you can see that in there there it is and I'll just go along and touch every window just have a look at the other side there it is there and that'll glow, that will dry completely clear. So I'll do all the rest of these and we'll come back. It'll only take me five minutes. Although I will have to actually put some acetate in the windows at the end because they're a little bit too big. So I will put a little bit of plastic in that because that's, yeah, that's, you know, it's not going to work on that. But I'll fill all these in now. And then we'll come back and have a look and see how good it looks in the end. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, so I've got this done. And let's have a look. There you go. So our glue is dried. Looks like nice glass in those windows. There you go. All right, so this took a bit of putting together. 
um, because this was out of shape, uh, the strip of the windows in it was bent and just, yeah, just out of shape. It also affected this piece on the bottom here, so it required a little bit of sanding here to get that to fit in properly, but it did work. So we're all good to go. Now, the only thing on left on here is there's two little spotlights that sit down. There's a couple little holes for them there. And I'm about to do them now. They're in there. There's two little ones. Um, uh, they just need a touch of, um, I think, um, silver on the actual spotlights. And then I'll touch that with the clear drying, drying glue as well to give it the lens effect. And that should uh, should look all right. Um, whether I'll put them on yet or not, they're, they're one of those things that you're likely to bump off because it'll be a little while before I have actually put this uh, onto this. Although I suppose I could. Um, we'll wait and see. Um, there may be some more light options that I could do up the front there. Maybe get something lit up a little bit inside there. Anyway, all right. Um, so right now what I'm doing is... Yeah, like I said, I'll get those ready to um, put on and paint it up and so forth. But whether or not I'll put them on, we'll see. Um, then I'm going to go to this building here, which actually goes uh, on here. And either side of the tennis court and so forth. So what I'm thinking of doing is drilling a hole into here so I can get some more LEDs, I mean fiber optics, up through there and light up this. Now, this um, are the side walls, and if you can see, I've painted the railing on that with the, the brown. I've also drilled the holes in the doorways get right up close you might be able to see there's the holes in the doors which have to be painted brown uh, and then I'll put just a dot of my little window glue in those and then I can attach them onto this but I may yet drill another one or two holes in there to get some fiber optics we'll put a little couple little lights on the walls that we just uh, sort of on the inside of the tennis court and so forth. So to give you an idea of what that is on the instructions, so um, that's the, let me go, so that's the piece there, number 29 going down onto here, which connects onto the back of the bridge that we just built. So I'll be seeing, there's also um, a mast that goes up on top of this with lights and stuff on it too. So yeah, I'll, I'll have a good look at where I might be able to also get some more lights on that. Okay, I will continue on and be back back shortly. Hey guys, welcome back. So another day has gone for me and uh, I'm just going to show you what I'm doing for the pool area. I was just about to fill it in with my water gel when I realised I haven't done the fibre optics so I thought, oh, I better get them done. So what I'm doing here is you can see that there they are there. It's going to focus for me. So you can see them sticking through. I'll just pull them down so that they sit in the bottom. And I'll put a touch of glue underneath so they don't push back up. But they shouldn't because they're going to be filled with gel. But just to secure them, I'll, I'll, I'll put a bit of glue underneath here. Um, and you can see how short they are. That one I just pulled straight through because I didn't realise that the end of it's not done yet. So what I'm going to do is just show you what I do with the lighter here. Is I just put to the to here, just oh, that's it. Just touch it and it flares it out. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but uh, see that just flares it out a little bit and then. It's flush in the bottom there. So um, you can see how short they are. That's all they need to be because inside the superstructure, 
that this is sitting on is going to be a long LED strip. And the light from that will be enough to light these and bring it up to those tips, which will be in the bottom of the pools. So I've got one, two, three, one more to put into here. Then I've got four into the swimming pool. And then, uh, yeah, then I can um, put some gel in there and we'll get that water effect happening. Okay, back shortly and we'll have a look at that. Okay, so I've put the, um, I've glued in the fiber optics into the pool. I've put in the uh, AK transparent gel. And then I suddenly realized ladders have to go in there. So I quickly cut them off the photo etch and uh, I put those in so they'll, as that glue dries, they'll dry in there as well. So they're in position. Um, I've also uh, attached LED strip that's going to go in there. That'll be underneath the uh, structure that has the Queen Mary 2 written on it that I want to light up. So that'll light up all in there for me. Um, this piece here, I've put all the fiber optics through. And this is also where the funnel sits, um, which I'd like it to have a blue light on it because it does have a blue light uh, lighting up. And I don't mean the... I mean, this isn't the funnel, sorry. This is the... Um, the mast and it has blue lights lighting it up so what I did was the tips of these two fiber optics here it's gonna I'll see if that's gonna focus you might be able to make it out I just tipped them in some blue metallic paint and I watered it down because I don't have transparent blue um, but that did the job and uh, it looks quite good so there will be little blue lights on the wall there. Um, the other one is there's a fiber optic light there on the side of that doorway, which is sort of where the tennis court is. And there's the same on the other side. Uh, and they'll feed down through the deck where I've got some holes for them to sit. Um, I'm just looking at um, see that. And that will go on there like that. So I'm looking at um, if there's any reason why I can't stick that down now. I know I've got wooden decking to go around and probably railings to go on here. Um, but I think that that can all be put on um, while this is on the deck. Anyway, that's gone well. I'm just letting all the blue paint dry before I position those permanently. I'll go and put that aside to let that dry overnight so that will look like a nice swimming pool with clear water, blue water. And uh, we'll come back and have a look at um, yeah, what i got to do next. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, welcome back again. So what I've done here is you can see the pool is finished. If our... Uh, gel in there so it's got that nice blue water look in there same with the spa two spas um that come up really well i was a bit concerned at first because um it took actually a bit longer to dry um i don't know why and it left a bit of a cloudy pale whiteness in the bottom of the pool and i thought oh that's no good i hope that doesn't stay like that um, but another couple of days of drying and it cleared up perfectly and we got a nice clear swimming pool. Um, and of course there's all our fibre optics all sitting in there to go down into the hole. Uh, now what I've also done is I've thought, well, in the mood doing pools, might as well do the other one. This ship is just full of pools. There's, there's actually one, two, three, four swimming pools on, on here. So this one here is sort of on the more towards the, the front of the ship and I've just painted it. I've done the light blue around the sides. Um, again, this, this will include railings and so forth. I'm going to put my 
uh, gel water effect into that. I'll just check to make sure it probably has ladders going in there as well, and I'll do the same as I did for the last one. I started putting some wood decking. I've stuck that down on there. Uh, just painted the stairs in there. Um, and then I've also got here the wood deck partly cut out, but that's all the sections of that need to be cut out, and that's going to go all around the pool area. Um, there's uh, looks like some breakwater. I'm not sure what that is. And all that all wood deck area there. So I'll probably be putting that on. But, of course, this... I've also already drilled out, but I haven't done the fiber optics up into this pool yet. So I'll um, be cutting those and, and putting all those in just like the last pool. Okay. So um, that's it for the video. Um, I'm going to call that uh, long enough. It's uh, the weekend before Christmas now. So the uh, video will continue be released as it normally is every Monday morning uh, in Australia. Not sure what that is where you are, but nothing will change over the Christmas and New Year. So, um, yeah, please um, comment below if you've got any tips or suggestions or um, want to make any comments, please put them down there below. Um, also, just want to thank, uh, we've got quite a lot of new subscribers join the channel over the last week or so and uh welcome aboard i'd say welcome aboard um make sure you have the uh, notifications bell there click so you get notified each time the video gets released um there's a few extra videos coming out i've uh, got a couple of unboxings coming up in fact when by the time you watch this you will probably already have seen one of them and there'll be probably another one on the Christmas weekend as well. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that uh, thumbs up button if you like my videos. That all helps with the algorithms. And I'm um, um, looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Okay, bye for now. Cheers.